Hey guys, it's Cat Hurley here. I am sitting in the corner of my bedroom and um, I meant to record a vlog for you yesterday while we were on set, which would have been much cooler than where I am right now, but I forgot. But we had a great shoot, great fantastic shoot for the documentary, I Think I'll Make It, which I don't have any details for you just yet, but um, just know we're having a lot of fun and I'm learning a lot about filming and... Um, Hey guys, it's Kat Hurley, and I am in my bedroom. Um, I was sitting here having this debate. Mm, really? Hi, it's Kat Hurley here. This is the corner of my bedroom where I do a lot of work because um, I get to sit next to this very glamorous fireplace slash radiator, and that's my pot of water slash humidifier. I was getting ready to write a blog for today because uh, I already started one and then I uh, also have been thinking about doing yoga and I realized I could not do both because it's a little late and I figured that you would appreciate the fact that I was not choosing blog over yoga especially considering that in my five minute journal that I've been writing in every night since I received it uh, I think that in the beginning of the year uh, every night I, they ask the same question. It's how could today have been better? And I keep writing yoga. So rather than make the decision away from yoga again, which is, tends to be happening lately, I am going to walk the talk. So, you know, oftentimes uh, when we are skipping the things that we most feel like we need or most desire, then we are not living in alignment. So in order to live in alignment is to be doing the things that you say that you want to do or the things that you think that you want to do. And then, you know, we have a thousand excuses throughout the course of the day as to why we cannot get those things done. You know, um, the lists are endless and then you have other people, you know, their lists get piled onto your list, children, relatives, family, friends, whatever. And then the thing that you wanted to do all day and ends up not being done. And what happens is built up over time, that becomes a compound effect. And then suddenly we have long lost our goal of whatever it is. So it may seem innocent at first, but compounded over time, it really adds up and also chips away at you living in alignment for yourself. So for me, my alignment is to be doing more yoga. My, um, my goal for this year is flexibility. And I've actually uh, been doing pretty well with that. So I've been sticking to my one yoga a week. Sometimes it's been two sessions and I found some really great ones on the, I think it's called doyogawithme.com. So I'll, I'll make sure to link the two that I really like in this blog so that you can see them. And I've been really enjoying that website so far. Um, if you have one that you prefer, then please let me know because I'm totally new to this at home yoga. I used to really enjoy going to a studio, but I found that 90 minutes of yoga, traveling there, traveling back was two and a half hours out of my day and it just wasn't feasible. So what I try to do is I set this little mood light, which I've got here, and then I'm going to light a candle. I'm going to get my gong and try to lock my kittens out of the room so I can sort of create my own little studio space. Although, um... Not quite the same, but we're getting there. So anyway, I figured you'd enjoy that. Walking the talk, um, living in alignment, and um, saying yes to that thing that, uh, that you've had on your list for just you. Very important. All right, guys, signing out. We'll see you soon.